Hi guys, welcome to Minutes 2 Energy. We are a team of solar professionals with more than 10 years of experience in technology and business fields and today we are going to share our knowledge and experience with you. Please see the video till the end for useful resources. So let's begin. Hi, Jenny this side with you today. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we will see how to calculate solar plant performance ratio with real plant data in a spreadsheet or in MS Excel. So, let's start. On this first sheet, we presented the brief plant configuration for you to have a clear idea on how things are for a real case scenario. As you can see, plant location is Belagavi, a place in southern part in India where the solar irradiance is usually very high and it's a very ideal for solar PV installation. The plant's installed DC capacity is 1000 kW peak and AC installed capacity is 1000 kW AC. The installed solar PV modules is from Canadian Solar and the type is polycrystalline. Capacity of each module is 320 watt peak. Similarly, the inverter is of 1000 kW of capacity from ABB and the topology is central inverter type. The generated power is being fed to the local utility grid at 11 kV. Now, let's see the mechanical arrangement of the solar PV array. So the modules are installed at 18 degree of inclination and facing directly south, which means the solar azimuth is 180 degree. All the solar PV modules are installed in the ground and the inter row pitch is 6.5 meters. Those of you who are new to this channel, please check out the other videos to know more about tilts, azimuths, inter row pitch and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future uploads. And please press the bell icon. Let's move on to the next sheet, the daily plant data. We gather the real plant data, we process them, and arrange them in this order of the easy of calculation. We have selected only daily GII and daily energy injected into grid for 365 days of the year 2018. We can see all the data arranged here in a month-wise manner. Finally, we are now in the annual PR calculation sheet. Here, on the top, you can see the table with month-wise GII and energy generation data. Units of the respective parameters mentioned in the columns. Now, as I double-clicked on the GII cell for January month, you can see that the values are linked from the previous sheet, daily plant data. Similarly, for the column D, generated energy values linked from that sheet only. On cell C15, see the formula. We used a simple sum formula to add all the monthly values to get the annual GII and energy generation. We have named the cell C15 as GII and cell D15 as Z grid. We have named the cell C20 as PNOM PV. Now you might be wondering why we named these cells. Remember the PR formula from our previous video? Haven't you watched already? Please watch that one. Link is in the description. But don't worry, the formula is here on the right side. So we named the cells to help you understand how the values selected and put based on the formula. So, based on this formula, the annual PR is 80.6%. We have shared this spreadsheet in Google Drive. You can download and use it for your personal use. We are working on bringing a web platform for sharing all these stuffs with you. Once we done with that, we'll share the link with you guys. Please let us know how did you find this video helpful in the comments section. We read all of your comments. And please please like and share the video as much as you can. Do subscribe to our channel Minutes to Energy for more interesting videos on solar PV system. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.